Hey! There's the last star piece! Do you see it? It's on the, uh... Really... The guy with the crown. Really long beard. Hammer. It's on the chest. Huh? Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? Alright then. How about a little demonstration? So as you can see, Smithy is making the weapons. Yo, Smithy! Stop making those things and hand over the starfish! Now! Yeah! Huh? <laughs> so you're Mario? Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle! My, my, a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Please, don't make us go through anymore. Just give us the star. Now! <laughs> Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I could easily conquer this world. Then we'd get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. Or we can just trounce you, take the last star, and get dreams and wishes back. I like my option better. Over here now. I'll crush you all. Bring it! This is Smithy. It's the boss. You even get fancy final boss music. But you also have the smelter over here. Don't neglect the smelter. There's a special attack by Smithy. Sledge. Ow. I'm having Super Mario World flashbacks. Now. I like to get rid of the smelter. It doesn't have a ton of HP. And it'll really help out in this battle. Mega Drain. Now, Smithy's going to pull out all the stops. You're going to see a few very special attacks, and you're also going to see some uh, just powerful attacks that you've seen before. Now, I'm not going to get rid of the Smelter, because it doesn't have that, many H uh, that much HP. Let me show you what the Smelter does. Look what we have. We have a Shiper. It's a hyper shy guy, I guess. Anyway, the smelter will help Smithy create ads. It'll, just like we saw, he was making javits. So get rid of the smelter. No reason to fight, to fight more enemies than you have to. The Shipers are no joke. They know Sword Rain, which is kind of a unique ability that does a lot of damage. Along with Sledge, you can end up taking a lot of damage. So, don't deal with that. Get rid of the Smelter, because you can. Powerful all-hitting attacks are your friend, especially... To get rid of the ads and also hurt the smelter. Ow. Hit. Now I don't remember exactly how much HP the smelter has. There it goes again. But I like getting rid of it. Because then all you have to deal with is smithy. That is what you want to see the Shiper do. <laughs> oh, Sledge again. You want to see it just basic attack. If it uses Sword Rain, that's very damaging. You don't want to see that. There we go. We can't attack the, uh, uh, 
when to say sledge. You can't detect the, uh, the smelter anymore, so you know it's gone. Now you can focus on Smithy. Smithy also has a basic attack, which as you can see does hurt. Just know Smithy is the final boss, therefore everything he does is going to hurt. Keep your HP up. And there's the kicker, Meteor Swarm. An extremely powerful attack that hits all party members. Be very wary of Meteor Storm. I really like the effect. I wish we had an ability like uh, Meteor Storm, uh, Meteor Swarm, uh, Sword Rain. Because I really like the way they look. The Sword Rain, all the swords floating across meteor swarm you see all the stars they're really cool looking effects very fitting for a final boss that you're seeing these really cool looking effects and they're also very damaging meteor swarm again see i just like the way that looks it looks like a, or just a, it's just a really cool looking attack Come on, Smithy, go down. No! Hey, it's an arrow. Calm down, Smithy. Your head looks like a geyser. And look, it actually does look like a geyser. <laughs> Don't get so worked up. Think of your blood pressure. Shyster. We just built this yesterday. And the foundation's very weak, so stop shaking the floor! How utterly annoying! And like I said, the foundation's weak! What the? How in the heck? Well, they tried to warn you, Smithy. That's bad! I'm burning, seething. Never have I been so wronged. It is time. I will show you my real form. I'll show you my true power. I will teach you respect. And I shall have my revenge. Come on, you puny ants! Phase 2! This is Smithy's real form! You have Smithy and Smithy, but you have the head and the body. The body has its own set of attacks. It has the hammer, and it has a uh, the left arm, which you'll more than likely get to see it use its attack. The head is what counts. You knock out the body, it just stops it. Once the head's HP is gone, you win. Now, Smithy will turn the head into several different forms. This is the tank form. Uh, one of the more dangerous ones just because of the attack power. Uh, the tank is weak to Thunderbolt, so if you brought Mallow along, kick it into high gear with Shocker. Now, you did not get your flower points back, as you see. To remedy this, you can use uh, maple syrup, royal syrup, a cara cara cola, whatever you choose. What I'm going to do, though, is show off a few of these attack items that I haven't yet. Kind of been saving them. Here's rock candy. Rock candy does a straight... Ha, <laughs> got a freebie. Yes. Does a straight 200 damage. No ifs, ands, or buts. Doesn't matter how high the defense is. You'll do 200 damage. Now, the tank has very high physical defense. And there's the bullet. As you see, it can do a lot of damage. And he gets a few swings with it. Geno Boost is very helpful here. 
we'll go ahead. Well, I should have done Mario first. There's the body's attack. With it's a uh, finger shot. More important than ever, keep your HP up because of how many attacks that Smithy gets. That tank shot just does a lot of damage. Back up defense up. Okay. Princess will be doing this a lot. <laughs> and just healing. I see Geno Boost will help you mitigate the damage quite well. Go ahead and throw a, uh, throw a rock candy again. 300 apiece. Get a freebie. This head is a casting. What? Think of it like a wizard. It will do a... Uh, it will attack with very powerful spells. It, however, does not have high magic defense. This is your chance to really get some damage on Smithy. because it does not take physical attacks well. Now be prepared, because you're going to be soaking some hits. Ha! <laughs> Unless it misses. One group hug. Five. Even though it could do a lot of damage, I like seeing this head just because you can do a lot of damage back. What do we have now? Oh, back into the uh, wizard one. Yes, he can repeat. There we go, 423, especially with Geno boost if you have Geno. If you don't have Geno, uh, something that kind of hard now. There's sword rain now. See, doesn't that just look really cool? Uh, something that you could have brought along were these special uh, items from Tadpole Pond. The... Sorry, I forget what they're... Uh, what they're called. The one that boosts the party's uh, attack and party's defense. They cost five uh, frog coins apiece. You could bring a few of those. Sword Rain. I believe that the uh, casting head also knows Meteor Sword. There we go. We haven't seen this one yet. This is the treasure chest head. What's going to happen? I don't know because it's random. <laughs> Something will happen. Use a Kara Kara Cola here. Full heal and get all of the flowers back. Um, let's keep swinging. It has middle defense to everything, so you st still can do a lot of damage. Let's throw a rock king. Uh, oh no, princess, you can throw a rock candy. Whoa, can't move. Now the body can't move. Uh, after a few turns, the body comes back, if I remember right. But while it can't move, I don't even think it can change the head. So that's another strategy you can use. Oh, great. Well, that, as you can see, causes silence to everything. And you see it randomizes. It randomizes what's going to happen. Uh, pretty interesting. We're not going to, uh... Oh, no, it, can, it just can't, uh, attack you with the hammer or the finger shot. Well, I haven't shown freshen up. Let's use the freshen up. 
As you see, removes all status effects. I'm waiting for... Well, I was waiting for a particular head. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw the ice bomb so you can see it. Ice bomb! And you see it has that cool effect, like, uh, solidify. Always like that. Uh, let's group up. Smithy is very intimidating and can do a lot of damage. Don't take him lightly. Um. Gino boost Mario. There it is! That's what I was waiting for! This is a really defensive head. It's got a ton of, uh... I don't think just physical defense. I think magical defense, too. He kind of breaks this one out, and then you just have to... Uh, end up taking a lot of hits. Because of the hammer and the, uh, the shot. <laughs> I'm burning with power! Uh, when he says that, the uh, body is back, as you can see. Now, although this... I don't even know what kind of head to call it. Coffin head or something. Has a ton of defense. That doesn't protect it from rock candy. <laughs> it's a good time to use it. It's also... Oh, thanks for Shredder. There went the uh, Geno boost. Let me just throw that back on there. Uh, it's a good time to break out the rock candies and things like that. Oh, good. Spear rain! I hadn't seen that one. I really like the way those, those rains look. I think they're really neat. Now, there's one last thing I haven't shown off yet. And you can find several of these in hidden treasure chests throughout the game. If you use the signal ring or just know where they are, and go grab them. This is Red Essence. We're going to give it to Mario, since he's our hero. Spear Rain! Mario took nothing. Zero. That is the power of Red Essence. Red Essence makes it to where the character is invul for three turns. They will take nothing. There's Boulder. See? Nothing. This is why I brought pick-me-ups. Red Essence is extremely powerful. back. Red Essence is really cool and I recommend saving them till right now. I don't even think Shredder gets rid of the effect. See, not even Shredder. Very powerful. Uh, since we have the Caracara Cola's one. If you have three red essence, you can give one to everybody, and then just go off with everything you got for those three turns. You don't have to worry about healing, none of that. You just swing with everything you have. I just got one just to show it off. Body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I'm finished. Done for. No! Come on, Mario. 
Send the last one way up high. And that's seven. Thank you, everyone. The Star Road is back to normal, and... And now we'll see what everybody's up to now. <laughs> Mallow is crowned prince. And there goes uh, Gara. Bowser and his troops are busy uh, repairing the castle. Yeah, shy guy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's Jonathan Jones. Thanks for the help, Johnny. There's Raz and Rainy, and <laughs> with the cookie, Yoshi takes the race. <laughs> so apparently, Croco is uh, at Yoshi's Isle racing. Tudovsky. And Frockfuss, and Frockfuss student, over there, in the trees. 
getting a uh, new musical number, I suppose. And apparently, Valentina and Booster got together. Kind of crazy. And Dodo acted as the minister. How about that? Last but not least, of course. As we check the middle star. The last one. Mario and Peach, together, of course. Thank you, Mario. And now we get a parade. <laughs> With uh, Luigi leading the band. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching, as I'll let you enjoy the parade while I talk. You can see characters again. There's Todovsky directing the band, of course. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy this game. There's our on the royal bus. Mal and everybody. Of course, with symbols. <laughs> really enjoy it because it uh, all... You can reminisce of the different characters and different things going on. It's uh, really neat. I really enjoy, uh, really enjoy this game. It's uh, quite fun. Melville's with the bomb. I'll stop talking about it. You can see it. <laughs> I said I really enjoy this game. It's it could be challenging if you want it to be challenging. Uh, if not, it's still. It's just fun to play. It always uh, makes me laugh. Uh, like the story about dreams and repairing the Star Road. The characters are interesting. I really enjoy Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. I really hope you've enjoyed this LP. I really hope you've enjoyed my take on the different things in this game. And... Uh, if you enjoyed the LP, please subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, If you, especially if you enjoyed my LP of this. Check out my other Let's Plays. I try to make them all fun and engaging in different ways. Uh, I, I don't ask for it often because I know they can get annoying, but I do like to ask at the end of the uh, Let's Play, if, uh, at the end of the Let's Play, if you enjoyed the LP, please uh, like the video, like, like, like the videos, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and please subscribe to the channel, it really will help me out, helps the channel grow, again, most importantly though, I hope you had a lot of fun, and really enjoyed it, what's up next, well you got a clue a few episodes ago, believe it or not, I usually don't give a clue like that out, <laughs> I like to kind of keep the next LP uh, kind of up in the air. That way it's an interesting surprise. But it will be another RPG to uh, take the place of this and is one of my favorites. Although, it'll be different for me playing through it. Uh, because of the system I'm going to be playing it on. And now it's dark, but never fear, the show will go on as we get some lights. Like Mario said, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. If you do subscribe to the channel, to my channel, thank you. And again, I really hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. I know I have. This is just a fun, excuse me, a fun game to play through. I know this episode will run long because of the credits and everything, but hopefully you'll stick it out, even though my voice is ready to check out. <laughs> uh, because just behind the scenes, I've recorded the last couple, the last few episodes of this uh, back to back. I really just wanted to get uh, get through this since we were kind of at the 
at the end, and they'll come out over the next few days. Fireflower, I like how the toads, uh, their, the mushroom head glows in the dark now. And of course, Mario and Princess Peach on the star. The music, the story, the gameplay, it's all just a lot of fun. There are other Mario RPGs, and I'll be tackling them sometime in the future. That, uh, sp uh, Star Spark seems familiar. And hopefully, with the Star Road repaired, your dreams come true, and I hope my dreams come true. Now is the perfect time to say it, even more so than when I usually do. I'm Cinderella 89 thank you very much for watching. Until the next LP, I'll reverse this. Take care, everyone, and remember to shoot for the stars.